Hello and welcome back to Dixie Living Homestead. This morning we are going to be making some sourdough waffles for breakfast. Um, this is a recipe that I've doubled for my large family. The first thing I did was last night I went ahead and made sure that I had enough starter. Um, so I built it up. This starter is you know just about 8 to 10 hours old but anything less than 12 should be fine. Again you can see all the bubbles in it. Um, it has risen and then fallen back down. You can see the lines. But I do have here um, four cups of starter. Okay, And to the starter I am going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients which I put in here. Sorry about that. Just four eggs and I'm just using regular chicken eggs not duck eggs since I'm not really baking although it is a waffle baker. Um, and then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt and this is for like I said a, a large recipe so everything here is doubled okay um, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla we have stirred in a can of canned pumpkin before added pumpkin pie spice to flavor it um, occasionally the kids like um, cocoa waffles and I'll stir in um, some cocoa powder in there, but today these are just going to be regular sourdough waffles that we'll have with butter and honey or with um, syrup. So after the vanilla, I'll go ahead and add a half a cup of um, melted coconut oil, melted butter, whatever you have. I am going to be pouring it right out of the can because we are currently doing a sabbatical in Florida so it is February and the coconut oil is liquid out in my pantry so let me just go ahead and pour this to the half cup line isn't that funny Oops, I'm glad that lid is on I forgot to get was the honey. So let me grab that. And this calls for four tablespoons, so I'll slide the measurement down. Since this is in the house, it is not warm and melty. It's nice and cold. That's going to keep sliding. I will just probably do four cups. There's one, two. These are the ingredients that I'm going to go ahead and mix together. <clears throat> there will be baking soda added, but I won't do that until the end. Because once you do it, you know, you have a limited amount of time to get it on the waffle iron. And I want to um, make sure these are as fluffy as they can be. Once we've finished putting the waffle batter together, I'm going to pour out pretty much about half of it into this smaller bowl. Work with 
this amount first. I'm going to go ahead and put in one teaspoon. waffle iron is preheated and I'm going to go ahead and begin. Sometimes, and it won't be right now because we don't have any, I do like to just drop a few um, either frozen or fresh blueberries on the top of these while they're in the baker. That's fun. Just close the lid and wait. I'm pretty sure you can see the steam coming up and that's telling us that they're cooking. So I like to wait until there's no more steam coming or at least um, not very much and that tells me that they're done. I also occasionally go by the light but it depends what cycle I'm on putting them in or out whether it's working accurately or not. We like to have these, like I said, usually with honey and butter. Um, some, some of the kids prefer syrup. I do keep some syrup. Sometimes I make a fruit syrup for them. It just depends, but otherwise just to have a quick breakfast that's ready to throw together in the morning and then get busy on school. This is a nice standby and we can enjoy it usually um, either with a smoothie maybe or a glass of milk or sometimes even a, um, a kefir fruit smoothie. The light did come on so I'll take a peek. And there they are. Nice and golden. I'll show you that. And I'll probably go ahead and take them out and get a few more on. As you can imagine, this is fun to do for kids, but I always worry that they're going to burn themselves on that top side of the griddle. So I usually only let the older ones do it. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this batter and just like before I'll go ahead and sprinkle the uh, baking soda into this batch and finish up the second half and then we're going to enjoy our breakfast and I'll give you a peek of what they look like. You looking for a waffle? You ready for one? Okay. Some of these look a little funny. I love that. That kind right here? The not whole? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Alright, we finished up the first bowl of batter. So, like I told you, I'm just going to go ahead and add the baking soda to this half. And that way, it'll still cook and bake properly um, instead of the big, large batch size. I'm going to make sure I get all the lumps out. Okay, and it's ready to bake. All right, some more are coming out. Did you eat any of yours yet? You haven't eaten any? Where's your fork at? Left it on the table? Okay. I was just going to ask you how they were. 
They're what? Delicious. Okay, we're glad you like them. <laughs> Once in a while, if someone's not home, I will have a few left to put in the freezer. But generally, um, we do eat the whole recipe. Like I said, there may be two squares left. But at least everyone's belly is full and they're ready to start their day. I just wanted to remind you that a delicious and healthy breakfast is not hard to prepare and enjoy every day. And when we take a little bit of time to um, properly prepare our grains, soak our sourdoughs or soak our grains and ferment our doughs, it does really aid with our digestion, but it also boosts the nutrition that our body is able to absorb. But most of all, it tastes great and no one knows that you are feeding them well. So I want to tell you thank you again for stopping by Dixie Living Homestead, where old times are not forgotten.